Hydroelectric Power Plant Hydroelectricity is the term referring to electricity generated by hydropower, the production of electrical power through the use of the gravitational force of falling or flowing water. This power plant plays an important role to protect our fossil fuel which is limited, because the generated electricity in hydropower station is the use of water which is renewable source of energy and available in lots of amount without any cost. Advantages The big advantage of hydropower is the water which is the main stuff to produce electricity and is freely available. It does not contain any type of pollution. The price of generated electricity in average is not high. Used water can be used again so water is a renewable source. How hydropower works Hydroelectric power comes from water at work water in motion to generate electricity water must be in motion this is kinetic moving energy when flowing water turns blades in a turbine the form is changed to mechanical energy the turbine turns the generator rotor which then converts this mechanical energy into another energy form called as electricity Some power plants are located on rivers, streams, and canals, but for a reliable water supply, dams are needed. Dams store water for later release for such purposes as irrigation, domestic and industrial use, and power generation. The reservoir acts much like a battery, storing water to be released as needed to generate power. Construction of Hydro Power Plant Construction of dam consists of A. Area B. Dam C. Reservoir D. Penstock E. Storage Tank F. Turbines G. Generators For construction of hydro power plant first we choose the area where the water is sufficient to reserve and know any crisis of water and suitable to build a dam, then we construct the dam. The main function of dam is to stop the flow of water and reserve the water in reservoir. Mainly dam is situated at a good height to increase the force of water. Reservoir stocks up lots of water which is employed to generate power by means of turbines. After that penstock, the pipe which is connected between dam and turbine blades and most important purpose of the penstock is to enlarge the kinetic energy of water. To control the pressure of water means increase or decrease water pressure whenever required, we use a valve. Storage tank comes in picture when the some reason the pressure of water in reservoir is decreases then we use storage tank it is directly connected to penstock and use only in emergency condition. Turbine is the main stuff. When water comes through the penstock with high kinetic energy and falls on turbine blades, turbine rotates at high speed. As we know that the turbine is an engine that transfers energy of fluid into mechanical energy which is coupled with generator and generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy which we utilize at the end. 
In hydro power plant we also add switch gears and protections which control and protect the whole process inside the plant. The control equipment consists control circuits, control devices, warning, instrumentation etc. and connect to main control board. After generating electricity at low voltage, we use step-up transformer to enlarge the level of voltage, generally 132 kV, 220 kV, 400 kV, and above, as per our requirement. After that we transmit the electric power to the load center, and then we step down the voltage for industrial and large consumer. Then again we step down the voltage to distribute electricity at domestic level which we used at home. Types of dams Gravity dams A gravity dam is a massive sized dam fabricated from concrete or stone masonry. They are designed to hold back large volumes of water. By using concrete, the weight of the dam is actually able to resist the horizontal thrust of water pushing against it. This is why it is called a gravity dam. Gravity essentially holds the dam down to the ground, stopping water from toppling it over. Earth dams An earth dam is made of earth, or soil, built up by compacting successive layers of earth, using the most impervious materials to form a core and placing more permeable substances on the upstream and downstream sides. A facing of crushed stone prevents erosion by wind or rain, and an ample spillway, usually of concrete, protects against catastrophic washout should the water overtop the dam. Earth dam resists the forces exerted upon it mainly due to sheer strength of the soil. Rocks fill dams A rock fill dam is built of rock fragments and boulders of large size. An impervious membrane is placed on the rock fill on the upstream side to reduce the seepage through the dam. The membrane is usually made of cement concrete or asphaltic concrete. In early rock fill dams, steel and timber membrane were also used, but now they are obsolete. Steel dams A steel dam consists of a steel framework with a steel skin plate on its upstream face. Rubber dams which is made of some synthetic rubbers. Timber dams Main load carrying structural elements of timber dam are made of wood, primarily coniferous varieties such as pine and fir. Timber dams are made for small heads, 2 to 4 m or, rarely, 4 to 8 m, and usually have sluices, according to the design of the apron they are divided into pile, crib, pile crib, and buttress dams. Two biggest constraints of dams Sedimentation problem all rivers contain sediments, a river, in effect, 
can be considered a body of flowing sediments as much as one of flowing water. When a river is stilled behind a dam, the sediments it contains sink to the bottom of the reservoir. The proportion of a river's total sediment load captured by a dam, known as its trap efficiency. As the sediments accumulate in the reservoir, so the dam gradually loses its ability to store water for the purposes for which it was built. Every reservoir loses storage to sedimentation although the rate at which this happens varies widely. Despite more than six decades of research, sedimentation is still probably the most serious technical problem faced by the dam industry. The rate of reservoir sedimentation depends mainly on the size of a reservoir relative to the amount of sediment flowing into it, a small reservoir on an extremely muddy river will rapidly lose capacity, a large reservoir on a very clear river may take centuries to lose an appreciable amount of storage. Dead Level of Water it is also biggest constraints of dams because water must be above from dead level for operation of dam, there are no outlets to drain the water in the reservoir by gravity. Solution to these constraints Give rest to dams Drain water and dig out sand Flush the sand and vibrate it until it comes up and can be drained through spillways. Subscribe to Techno Designer for more videos.